And now, for your listening pleasure, The Blazing Defender Report, with your host, Travis Jones. And now, for your listening pleasure, The Blazing Defender Report, with your host, Travis Jones. What's going on, everybody? I know I don't have to do that anymore because Mike Woodard, my great producer, gave me some music to to do that for me, uh, but I still like doing it. I don't know. It gets me pumped up. Uh, I hope you're pumped up. What's going on, everybody? Um, thank you for joining the Blazing Defender Report. Changing the format a little bit. It's going to be a much shorter show. I want to give you all the relevant comic book news that's happened in the last couple of days. I've been super, super busy with Meatheads on Movies. Please go to iTunes. Check that out. It's under the Blazing Defender Report banner. Uh, we've been doing several episodes of that. I've been helping uh, the network out, which is the Giant Size Team Up Network. If you haven't heard, now you hear me. Um, go there. Check out. It's a great, I call it the a Heroine's Den for geeks. Uh, for geeks who do heroin, maybe. I don't know. Uh, do geeks do heroin? That's that. Maybe that's a whole new show. But... Go there. You're going to find great shows. This isn't a good show, but those are great shows. Please go to GiantSizeTeamUp.com. Um, I'm breaking the panel. I've been co-hosting there. So this is kind of taking me out of my BDR responsibilities. But I'm back and going to change it up real quick. I'm going to get you in and out of here with some really good stuff. First of all, I want to tell you I went to Derby City Comic Con here in Louisville, Kentucky last a couple weeks ago. Met a guy named Alan Bellman original gangster of Marvel Comics back in the 40s. The dude is 92 years old, still banging out sketches like you would not believe. And you want some proof? I'll show you. Check that shit out. Yeah, for all my audio listeners, I apologize, but I'm showing a really dope print. He's signed it up here, Alan Bellman, 2016. I got another one here. Now, this is one that was already made that I bought. Cap flexing on Hitler and Skull. Very, very cool. One of the original artists on Captain America. He was a very sweet man at 92 years old. Uh, very full of life. Um, interesting story. As soon as I walked into the con, I see this old man in the pedway. And he's like, are you going to the con? I'm like, yes, sir, I am. Are you going to the con? He's Captain america out. Shirt, hat. Uh, I think his cane had like, some Captain America shit on it. And uh, he was like, well, yeah, 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 you got to go that way. And I'm like, oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. So as I'm walking, I had to get some cash. So and there's this big hallway. You got to go down for you know, the con. Well, I see he and his wife walking. And he's not walking real well, okay? And he kind of goes over to the wall and holds the wall up. And I'm like, holy crap, this old man may need help. So his wife, who looked a older, uh, younger than him, I should say, but, but she was still an elderly lady. I walked up to her. She's way ahead of him. And uh, I heard him say something to her. So I walked up to her. I said, hey, excuse me. I said, does, does your husband, does, does he need help? Because, I mean, I can help him. And uh, she was like, ah, oh, nice, fine. <laughs> and I said, okay. So when I got my ticket, I told the guys to watch for an old guy. And if you don't see him in a few minutes, go back and check on him. Uh, that was Alan Bellman, I come to find out. So I did not, did not know him previously to this. Cons are a great way to meet incredible people, incredible artists, uh, iconic figures of Marvel Comics that we, you know, that, well, I didn't grow up with that, but that I enjoy now, being a huge Cap fan that I am. Okay, uh, enough of that. That was a great, great, great time. Go to BlazingDefenderReport.com. You want a better look at these sketches. Um, I took uh, really good pics of them and put them on there. All right. News, num news note number two, Thor Ragnarok, the movie, just started principal filming last week. I am pumped up for this movie. You have no freaking clue. Let me, let me tell you a little bit why. These are the rumors. Now, we don't know if this is what we'll see or not it's so early yet. Okay, check it out. Picture this. Thor Hulk road trip movie. Take it, Marvel. Take all my fucking money. Now, you throw in them two in a gladiatorial arena. Thor rocking the long beard. Shaves his head into a mohawk. Kicking ass. Oh, my God. I just made a total mess here. I'm so fucking pumped for this. Uh, I, I could have made a better movie myself. So, let's hope they stay somewhat close to those rumors. They can have all those rumors if they want. 
But uh, I hope that happens. But very, very excited for this. Now, on that note, uh, today's July 6th, new comic book day. So get in your local comic book shop. Uh, just, you don't have to buy anything. Just go in there and check it out. Rummage around. Lawyer to the place. Who gives a shit? Um, Thor Ragnarok Easter egg in the dark Doctor Strange prequel issue that's out today. I don't know what the Easter egg is, but I will buy it today. I'll come back on the show next week, and I'll tell you what the Easter egg was if you don't want to buy the issue. But go out and buy the issue. If you're a Doctor Strange fan, you're going to want to, you're going to, want to have it. So Easter egg in Doctor Strange prequel this week. If you got no other reason to go to the comic book shop, there you go. I just gave it to you. All right. Now, great news again on the Captain America front. His 75th anniversary just keeps on rolling on. Comic Cave is going to create, or has created, I should say, a 13-foot statue of Cap. They're going to unveil it at CDC, San Diego Comic-Con, this week. After they unveil it, stay with me for the the geographically uh, retarded, which I am, but I know this one, trust me. San Diego's on the West Coast, Brooklyn, New York on the East Coast. After they unveil it here, they're going to do a tour across the country. Okay, now uh, go to BlazingDefenderReport.com, click on the click on the article, and it tells you uh, where you can look to see where they're going to announce that schedule at. Okay, if that comes anywhere close to Kentucky, I'm going. Um, so then it's going to make its way across to Brooklyn, New York, where it will reside in, I think it's... Uh, it's either Soldiers Park, I think it is, in, in Brooklyn. But in, the headline on the on the statue says, I'm just a kid from Brooklyn. So, I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, this is awesome news. Like I said, I'm a huge Cap fan, so I thought that was great. Uh, good, good thing for you to know. Go see it if it comes close to you. You're going to get a picture of it. All right. Now, on the bad news front, fans of this show know how much I love the Darth Vader comic book. The Darth Vader comic book is amazing. Every week it's either good or great. The in, the run is ending at 25. Uh, and asked why it was ending at 25. It was Marvel's book of the year last year and their number one bestseller. They're ending it at 25? What the fuck is going on? Karen Gillan says the story's just ran its course. Whatever, we know better than that. Now, I would rather them end it than start putting out shit. Maybe he wants to go on and do something else. I don't know. But you would think they would just put another all-star team on this awesome, fantastic book. Now, in saying that, we're going to talk about that issue that came out a couple weeks ago on on the show. But uh, very, very quickly. All right, now, DC Rebirth. In one word, two words. But I usually spell them together. Fucking amazing fucking amazing like i can say it all together it looks like one word dc rebirth has been fantastic i'm a marvel guy you can look around i'm a marvel guy okay but i love superman love batman love the justice league some of the other characters i can take take or leave dc rebirth stuff has been awesome there's been a lot of it mind you and this guy's bought all of it i have not been disappointed in not one thing so if you're a uh, an Aquaman fan, a dark, a Green Arrow fan, um, a Justice League fan, a Batman fan, a Superman fan. These are some good stuff. They're really setting a foundation for a great, great story arc. Uh, not only within the books themselves, but as a DC universe as a whole. Jeff Johns has got an idea, so let's let Jeff run with it. Uh, very, very, very excited for all the DC Rebirth stuff. Okay, so. If you need a reason to go out and buy a book, they're all starting at number one, okay? The DC Rebirth stuff has been so awesome, I'm going to devote a whole show to it where we're going to talk about it in depth, probably bring on Big Sam from Meatheads on Movies. He's a big DC fan. He's been reading Rebirth stuff. We text each other all the time, holy shit, did you read this? Holy shit, did you read this? So uh, very, very, very good stuff. All right. Uh, And also on the DC Rebirth front, I'm happy to announce, fans of the show know I'm a huge fan of this cat. My favorite superhero gay couple is coming in Rebirth. Apollo and Midnighter. The book's coming out in the fall. They're going to be part of the DC Rebirth universe. Cannot wait. Um, they're two badasses. Yeah, I know they make out and do other stuff to each other. I don't care. The two dudes that are that badass, they can do whatever they want. 
So very excited. If you didn't know that, uh, they're coming, guys, in the fall. Not sure yet, when yet. Not sure who's on the book yet. But when I do, you'll be. Sh I'll be sure to let you know right here. All right, now. Uh, some books I want to talk about that I bought the last few weeks that I, I just I think they need to be discussed. First book, Captain America number two. I've never seen an issue of a new book get more publicity than number one of this did. Now this is the second part of the story, okay? Uh, and just like on Blazing Defender, when I reviewed number one, I I called it. Not trying to pat myself on the back. Not that I could reach it, but um, I, I told you who it was going to be, and I told you what was involved, and it, it's what it was. Now, even saying that, this was an excellent read. That's what I try to say. Give Nick Spencer a chance. Now, I'm not a huge Nick Spencer fan. He's not done a whole lot that I loved. So, after the first issue, I wasn't happy either, guys, but I know they tell a story. There's no way Marvel's most iconic character is going to be a fucking hydra sleeper agent for his whole career that's not going to happen so let the man tell a story and he did and it was great i really really enjoyed it awesome issue glad that cap the cat book is getting back on track now my next book is what we kind of alluded to a minute ago darth vader 22 three issues left of this run okay now this one sucked not gonna lie this book has been good to great every week. This book, it felt like it was a filler issue, but there's elements in this they had to tell to tell the next three. If they're going to wrap this story up, I think they had to start here. So I'm cool with it. Uh, and it's still not bad, okay? When I say sucked, Darth Vader takes down a cybernetically enhanced Rancor. How bad can it suck, right? So, still an excellent book. Uh, it just wasn't up to par for what it has been these last 21 issues. Okay? So, only three issues left, guys. So, get on board now. Now, the next book. Jupiter's Legacy number two. Now, I am a huge fan of Frank Quarterly's art. Huge fan of Mark Millar's writing. He's one of my favorite writers of all time. Him, Jay Snarin, Rick Remender, those three, they're, they're the tits for me, okay? Why do I say tits? Because everybody likes tits. Uh, now, this issue is the beginning of Legacy Number 2, okay, as you can see. Now, if you haven't read Jupiter's Legacy Number 1, I feel like you're going to have to do that. Now, why don't you have to do that? Because the art in this is fantastic. The fight is fantastic, and you see what they're doing. They're creating a new super team. So it's not like you have to know that what happened in one, but I think you should. I think you're going to get more of that story. Again, Millar, quietly. So why not get it? Um, it's a soup. This is an awesome, fantastic issue. I was so happy to see this on the shelves, and I was even more static after I read this. So excellent, excellent start to this. Now, I just want to note, this is a Rob Liefeld variant cover. Now, if you'd have told me I'd have bought a Rob, Rob Liefeld variant cover, I would have said you were crazy. Now, this was the only issue they had left, so that's all I had to get. But the cover's pretty cool, and that character that he drew there, she's in this issue. She's pretty badass. Now, I'm glad I got some time left because I want to talk about this next book. This next book, IGN gave it like a 3.4. Uh, anything IGN gives below a 5 pretty much sucks ass. So, this got a 3.4. Didn't even get a fucking 4. Now, Big Sam, which... Again, as my correspondent, I talk to, we talk about books a lot. Big Batman fans. Dark Knight Returns is probably our favorite comic series of all time. When Dark Knight 3 came out, we, we both agreed on the first two issues, first three issues. We both agreed that the fourth issue sucked, was terrible. Might have been the third issue. One of them was fucking horrible. We both agreed. He sends me a text. He goes, man, Dark Knight Book 5 is awful. I was like, oh, shit. So I read it. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I'm going to tell you why I loved it. The thing I love about Batman, his superpower, people say he don't have superpowers, I disagree. His superpower is he's five steps ahead of everybody. He has a contingency plan for every threat that you never seen coming. That happens in this book. So it's one of the things that I love about Batman 
he does in this book. Not going to spoil it for you because I wouldn't want nobody to spoil it for me. Um, another thing that happens in this book is Batman gets back into the fray. Now, we've got an older Dark Knight here. This is the, the third story in the Dark Knight Returns. He was old as shit to begin with. But he's he's thriving on the on the fear that he gives villains now. And this is some of the stuff he says really got me amped up. Shot, I, but I have not read the IGN review. I just seen what they gave it. Um, now I don't read a lot of reviews because I don't care about anybody's re- reviews, but my own. That's not true. Uh, but I don't want to be persuaded in any way until after I read the issue. Now I'll go back and read it, and then I'll see if if I agree with them or not. Uh, they may point out some things. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. But let's put it this way. The good outweighed the bad for me in this book. So DK3, book five, I loved it. Thought it was fantastic. Uh, if you're a big Batman fan, then I, I think this whole series is, is one you're not going to want to miss. Um, other than that, guys, that's it. That's all. That's the show. 15 minutes. Um, okay. I took 15 minutes of your day. I'm going to take two more minutes of your day. Um you, let me know what you think about the new format. Let me know what you think about the show. Let me know what you thought about Cap 2, Dark Knight 5. Let me know. Give me your hate. Give me your love. I'll take it all, man. I don't care. Give me your feedback. You can find me at BlazingDefenderReport.com, Blazing Defender at Instagram, Blazing Defender at Twitter. You get the idea. Okay? Giant Size Team Up Network. You can find me there as well. iTunes. You can find me there. Blog Talk Radio. You can find me there. I'm everywhere, man. I'm everywhere. And I'm going to be out there even more and more and more. So um, me and Sam are in the process of opening a booth at the next Comic-Con, maybe here, maybe in Cincinnati. We're not sure. Uh, We'll let you know. I'll let you know. Come out, say hello. We'd love to to hear from you. Uh, Be broadcasting live the entire time. I might even do some kind of benefit for MDA while I'm there. Uh, But please, guys, give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. Check out the Giant Size Team Up Network. It's a heroin den for, for, for nerds. Uh, you're going to go there. You're going to find something you like. If you didn't like this show, which I don't blame you, you'll find something else you like on there. We've got some very talented podcasters. Guys, with that, I'll take no more of your time today. It's New Comic Day. Get your asses out there to the comic book shops. And please give me your feedback. And with that, the Blazing Defender is fucking out. He has spread the building. Love one another, guys. That's all we got. I'll see you later. Bye.